Hi everyone and welcome back. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for uh, your comments, for your questions, for your like in the, in the videos. And one of the comments over there, and actually it was kind of a question, and thank you for that. And a person said, you know, everything is beautiful and good and I understand that the opponent is there and he's doing his work and you know what, maybe I'm not sure he's doing his job and that's what he's supposed to do. But still, with all of the meditations and everything, still I get angry, I get upset. You know, how can I overcome it? So let's see what we can do about it, and especially in this month of Elul that's coming up. So let me start first of all with the verse from uh, the Zohar, just to make the connection uh, for that special time. From Achremot, verse 96. Let's see what this means. So so we know we now start in the new moon or the month of Elul. As the Kabbalists, Kabbalists explain, it's the month of repentance. One of the things that we need to keep in mind when we're talking about the uh, anger of the last video we talked before, that when we have in the anger, it's just something that show about something that is much more deeper than that. And what does it mean? You know, when we already like upset or angry, there is a reason why we're upset and angry. And most of the times we're just pointing the fingers about the other person, but the other person, as the couple is saying, he's just showing us something that exists inside of us. One of the things we should start doing, and especially in this month, you know, because a lot of things will start to come up of the surface, not just with anger, but we're talking about anger and I would like to give the answer about the, the person question and we need to start to dig deeper and to start to ask what is that thing that make me upset, that make me angry? Which that word, you know, if, I don't know if you're familiar with the, with the movie uh, Back to the Future and there is one of the scenes over there that the, the person is, was, he was eating Another guy came and he tried to make him upset. He tried to pick a fight with him. And he cursed his mother, his fiance, he cursed everybody in his family, and he continued eating. Nothing moves him. Suddenly he said one word. He called him chicken. When he said the word chicken, the guy, you see like fire come out of his ears. <laughs> and he, he stood up and he wanted to fight with the person. It means we all have that chicken bottom. So that chicken bottom also it just shows about something deeper than that. You know, in the months of Elul, we need to start to look inside. Because the Zohar explained here, when we come into this world, somehow we disconnect ourselves from the light of the Creator. And we need to find a way to come back to the Creator. We know we have that um, fight most of the time between the body consciousness and the soul consciousness. The body consciousness will make us to do things not related with us connecting with the light of the Creator. We need to start to pay attention more and more during our day, especially again in these months, to be aware about my thoughts, about my feelings, about my emotions, 
about the way I'm reacting. It means, you know, when something happened, as we said before about the anger, it starts from feelings, from emotions, that somebody says something, and it starts. If I can catch it in that point and listen to my thoughts, connect with my feelings, my emotions, I can start to recognize the root of what I'm feeling. Because when we're already angry, we're already reacting. And we think, oh, I'm angry. How can I fix that? It's not to, f to fix the anger. It's to fix what caused the anger. And our job is to find out the cause. As Kabbalah explained, if we can find the cause, the root, and change it from the root level, from the seed level, also the anger will change. So one of the things that we like to do, <clears throat> and especially now in the month of Elul, I want us to do a few things that will help us to recognize it. First, I want to have that consciousness. I want to bring myself back to the light of the Creator. What does it mean? It means I want to give the will, I want to give the energy of my soul to control my body energy, my body consciousness. It means, one, we need to listen more to our thoughts. What's going on in my thoughts? Because many times I have a desire, but I'm operating in a different way or the opposite of my desire. And it doesn't make sense, right? Because if I have a desire, I need to focus my energy on that goal. So first, if I'm listening to my thoughts, I can make sure to stay on track, to pay attention. If this is my goal, I want to achieve it. So if I want to check what's going on in, inside, but my feelings, about the emotions, about my thoughts, I need first of all to make a decision to listen to my thoughts. Because everything starts from a thought, then I can say something, then it go to my feelings, and then I'm taking an action. So first of all, I want to start to listen to my thoughts. You know what? If you want, it's better even to write down. If you can't write it down every second because you're working, because you're busy, I understand. Stop once or twice a day. Go over your, you know, the hours before and write down into points, not the whole story. Who said, what's happened, what was your thoughts, what were your feelings, how you react. If you will start to do that, we can start to control what's going on. We can start to look inside and to find the root of why causing me to be angry, to be upset. What is that chicken bottom? And remember, uh, the, the Baal Shem Tov saying that people, they are our mirrors. You know, our soul is perfect. So it's hard for us to see imperfection about ourselves. So we see it on other people. This is my mirror. If I can start to reflect that and see it, I can receive many, many messages, especially this month, the month of Elul, the month of Virgo. We're all going to be judgmental. We're, going to, we're all going to judge situations. And we're all going to kind of blame others. But no one to blame. When I'm pointing, you see, it's one on the person, one it's above on God, and three it's on me. It means, first of all, I need to check myself. So let's take this opportunity that we have support from the universe to help all of us to see in a better way with the spiritual eyes what I need to change. How can I correct my body consciousness and connect more with my soul consciousness and cleave myself with the light of the Creator. If you have any more questions, please, you can leave it in the comments and I hope to hear from you very soon. Good luck.